Hi, I'm Rosalie Brown. Welcome to the Leg Magic Training System. This training system is based on circuit training, which means we'll be going from exercise to exercise in one minute intervals. Please feel free to work at your own pace and you can slow down at any time. But with the Leg Magic Training System, what you're going to find is your legs are going to get toner, your abs are going to get fitter, your butt's going to get higher, and you need to do this four to five times a week to get those great results, and in one month, you'll see it. Now, let's get started. All right, let's step on leg magic, grip the bar, and slide in and out, and squeeze and release. Good. Squeeze and release. When you're first starting, you might want to grip onto the bars, but keep that body nice and tall. As you advance, your grip should become lighter. Now, in this first action, we're just getting used to the leg magic training system. You want to squeeze in and release. When you first get started, you may also notice you're making a bit of noise by banging the ends. And you want to try not. Try to keep it nice and quiet. Squeeze it. Release it. Lots of control. You want to activate the muscles in the inner and outer thighs. Great job. Keep it going. Body tall. Engage those abs. Guess what? We've got about 20 seconds left in this first training session. Squeeze. Fantastic job. Again, beginners, I want to remind you, work at your own pace. Great job. A few more. And now just a few seconds, we're going to step off leg magic and go into a repeater lunge series. Here we go. Three more. Two more. One more time. Great. Step back. Place one foot in front of the other. And step back and come up. Step back and up. Great job. You're probably feeling your heart rate increasing as well and this gives you some great cardiovascular benefits. So nice, giant step back. Feel free to keep a light grip on your leg magic. Fantastic. We're almost halfway through, and then we're going to switch legs. Try and keep those abs nice and tall. Fantastic. Step back. Great. About 20 seconds to go, and then we're going to switch legs. Keep your body nice and tall. Fantastic. Reach back. And to advance the move, slight pause, then lift. Slight pause, then lift. Three more. Here we go. In three. And two. One more. And let's switch legs. Step back. Step back. So the length of your step should be about the length of your leg magic training system. So this is a really great way to check your form and to make sure you're maximizing your exercise. Great job. Step back. Keep it tall. Beautiful. And try to keep your grip light. Let the legs take all the work. Fantastic. Over halfway there, guys. Step back. Come up. Good job. Keep your body posture tall. You can hear it in my voice. I'm getting that great cardio challenge as well. Awesome. We've got about 10 seconds left. Stay with me. And we're going to step back onto leg magic and do inner thigh focus. One more. All right. Stepping back on leg magic, you're going to start halfway, squeeze, release. So it's a smaller range of motion this time. Squeeze. Squeeze. Beginners, feel free to keep that grip. Great. Notice your posture. Nice and tall. Hold. So in this set of leg magic exercises, smaller range, more concentrated focus on those inner thighs. Beautiful. And squeeze. Squeeze. Awesome. 30 seconds to go. You're doing great. Light grip. Feel free to rest at any time. You got it. Pull. Release. Pull. Notice that slight pause at the top. That's those muscles activating hard. Nice. All right, just a few more reps left. Stay with me. Remember, we're focusing on the inner thigh. Three more. And two more. Last one. Fantastic. Let's step back, and we're going to go into a squat. Step back, 
Good. Now, when you're squatting, you want to keep your toes light. Sit back, then lift. Sit back, then lift. Good. You want to press your buttock right to the back wall. Fantastic. Press. And press. Nice job. Really heating up those muscles in your legs. Burying up your calorie burners. Fantastic. Great job. Hold, then lift. The less momentum you use when you do all of your exercises, the more effective the exercise will be. You're doing great, guys. We're almost there. A few more. Great. Stay with me. But again, if you're new to exercise, it's okay to rest. What resting means is that you're working hard. And as long as you're working hard, you'll see great results. Fantastic. Just four more. Three more. Last two. All right, now we're going to get back onto the leg magic and we're going to focus on the outer hip and thigh area. So this time you're going to press out to the outer ramps. Here we go. And pulse. So this time it's a little different speed. Working at different speeds challenges the muscles a little differently. I still don't want you to watch your bumpers. Try to keep the movement quiet. Abs nice and tight. And again, if you can advance the move, try to keep your grip light or not at all. Keep pulsing it. You should really feel this in the outer hip and thigh area. A little butt action as well. Fantastic. Keep pulsing. Good. A lot of my clients tell me this is their favorite part of the leg magic training system. They love the way it feels on their outer hip and thigh area. Keep it going. Fantastic. We got 30 seconds to go in this training interval. Stay with me. Fantastic. Push hard. Great. And again, beginners, keep it nice and tall. Use your grip when you have to, but feel the abdominals engage. My clients saw such fantastic results, and I'm sure you will too, with consistent use. And please remember, it's only 13 minutes. You can do this. Four more, and three more, two more. All right, let's step back. And now we're going to do stationary lunges. One foot at the front of the leg magic, one behind. And let's dip it down. Here we go. Nice and tall. Great job. And I want you to keep your grip light. Fantastic. Remember, the less momentum you use, the more effective you'll train. What happens when you use momentum is that you actually activate less muscle. And I want you to activate as much muscle as you can. Good. Stay Fantastic. And you can check your t-shirt. It should be smooth. So if you find you got wrinkles in your t-shirt, straighten up. Check your form. And you should always be able to see your toe. Guess what, guys? We're halfway. Keep going. Drop it down. Fantastic. Press. Just moving, from, just moving from one exercise to the next gives you cardiovascular benefits as well as strength training benefits. Good. Nice. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Just four more. In four, we're going to switch legs. Three. Last two. One more. All right, switch legs and dip down and up. Good. Let's do that posture check. Body nice and tall. Keep your front knee behind your toe. Excellent. And just a light grip. This also helps you keep your posture in check. Fantastic. Dip and up. Slight pause. Good. A few more. We got just under 30 seconds to go, guys. Stay with me, and then we're back onto the leg magic for the next exercise. Looking good. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more. 
Fantastic. Let's step back onto the leg magic. Start with your hands on the grips. And this time we're going to hold in for a count of six and then release for two. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You got it. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice. Two, three, four, five, six. Feel those muscles working. Five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Awesome. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You got it. Up, two, five, six. We're past the halfway point. Five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two more. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two more times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Last time. One, two, three, four, five, six. Awesome. Now we're going to take it down to the floor and challenge those abs. So I want you to lean back and tap those heels. Nice. Good job. We'll do this for about 15 seconds. You really want to heat up that abdominal area. Press. Fantastic. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Give me four more. You got it. Three more. Two. Now we're going to do a sit back. Plant your heels. Go back. And lift up. Great. Lift back. Come up. Do that again. And back. And lift. Feel those abs activate. Go as far back as you feel comfortable. Hold. And lift. Now focus on keeping those heels planted. You'll get better activation. Good. Hold. And lift. Awesome. Hold. Now let's go back to the tap. Finish off with your tap. Good. Eight. Seven. Six. And five. Four more. Three more. Two. Last one. Roll it back. Bring your heels in nice and tight to your buttock. And lift. Up and down. Up and down. I want you to squeeze your butt cheeks together. And notice my toe position. Toes are light, activating more of the muscle into the hamstring and buttock area. Now we're going to stay high and pulse. But every time you push, I need you to squeeze, 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 and squeeze. You got it. Push, push. Awesome. Keep lifting and lifting. Pause at the top. Great job. Eight. And seven. And six. And five. Just four more. Four. And three. Last two. One more. Fantastic. Now we're going to work a bit of the upper body. Roll over. And we're going to do some push-ups. You can start from your knees and then advance to your toes if you wish. Here we go. So knee position. Lead to the chest. Or feel free to modify between the two. Or if you're just starting, you can hold a plank position from your knees or your toes. Great job. Let's take it up a bit. Challenge the body. Ah, nice. Notice my hand placement directly below the shoulders, leading with the chest. Support your head. Try not to let that head drop. You got it. Just halfway, guys. Halfway. 30 seconds left. You're doing fantastic. Press. And press. Two more. Great job. We have one more exercise left in the circuit training system. And I guarantee you're going to look fantastic in a short amount of time. Four more. Three more. Two more. Last one. Fantastic. I know that was challenging. Let's get back onto the leg magic system for our very last exercise. Beginners, grab your bar, start in the center, and let's just start moving the legs in and in. 
Now, if you're ready, let's add some upper body training. Here we go. Curl and curl. This really bumps up the routine. Yes. Squeeze those biceps. Pump and pump. Nice. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Give me a shoulder press. Push and push. Excellent. Reach, reach. Keep it tall. Feel the muscles in the core activating. Fantastic. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Now give me a tricep kick back. Push, push. Squeeze the back of your arms. We're almost there, guys. Finish it strong. Eight, stay with me. Seven, yeah. Six, five, just four more. Three more. Two, we're there. Your 13 minute program. You have time for 13 minutes a day. Now using your stand, let's just give those legs a little bit of a stretch. Knees side by side. Fantastic job. You can do this. It'll fit into your lifestyle so easily. Other side. Stretch out those big muscles that you're working. Fantastic. Step out, inhale. Exhale. Remember, consistency is the number one key to exercise success. And with leg magic, you'll have that success.